Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today we're going to talk about a car that has kind of always been in the forefront of the California car culture. It's a 41 Willys, obviously not stock <laughs> at all. Uh, I'm not sure what is stock on this car. Maybe, uh, maybe some metal in the fenders. I don't know. That's about it. But this is a classic California hot rod with a fascinating story. Uh, let's meet the owner, Lindsay Snyder. Lindsay, come on in. How you doing? All right. Now you got your NHRA drag racing license, the whole deal, right? Yes. Okay, so this is uh, your car. Tell us about it. Well, it was actually my dad's car. Mm -hmm. And um, I lived in Northern California, and he lived down here. And um, he started racing a bunch, and he had this car. And I saw videos of it just launching completely crooked and going to the side. And I was like, oh, my gosh. But... Um, I didn't get into it until after he passed away and a few years had gone by and I had some racing under my belt and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to right. get in this wild thing because they actually did some stuff to the suspension before he'd passed away and he hadn't driven it. So so it was kind of a... And what, it's a 454 Chevy, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of horsepower are making? Uh, a thousand. About a thousand horsepower, yeah. okay. Well, well, that ought to move pretty good. <laughs> but this is not a show car, it's registered and you drive it, right? Yeah, you can, yeah, for sure. Yeah, cool. Very good. Do you get now, it must be funny when people see a cute blonde driving a hot rod, and you get a lot, and guys tend to be, you know, you know guys, <laughs> that they want to challenge you and you blow their doors off. Does that happen a lot? Well, I have, I have a Hellcat, and, you know, people look at that car, and, and I'm so tempted inside, but uh, yeah. I just think, okay, you've got the race car, you've got the track, just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. See? Yeah. yeah, see, women are sensible. Guys would nail it and hit a tree and then the whole deal. Okay, very cool. Was this always the color? Uh, it's the only color I've known. I'm yeah. sure he... Uh... So you're keeping it exactly as your dad yeah. had it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Can we, uh, can we open the hood and see what we got in here? Oh, yeah, let's, go ahead. Let's bring in the two Jeffs. Guys, come on in. That's the biggest can and filter I've ever seen. Oh my God. That, now you, you worked on this car, correct? Yes. So tell us about the motor, Jeff. Uh, it's an Earl Wade and Bill Condit built big block Chevy. Uh, it was built in the early 90s. Uh, we estimate it to be around 1,000 horsepower. Wow. And it's normally um, aspirated, isn't it's it? It's normally aspirated, one carburetor. Wow. It's got, of course, the hooker headers on it. It's got a pretty big camshaft. It runs in the quarter mile in the nine second range. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like Lindsay said, her, her dad's driven it, and I've seen some videos, and it's... <laughs> yeah, it goes, it goes it's, for... It's like an old gasser from the 60s. It goes, yeah. you know, sometimes not straight. It's fascinating. Now, did you guys start with... Did, did your dad, do you, know, do you remember, did he start with an original car, or was it a hot rod when he got it and just took it to the next level? You know, I'm not really sure about that, but a lot of it's steel. Of course, the front end's fiberglass. Right. Uh, it's a Gary Hansen chassis. It's right. um, pretty much a tube chassis. It's got a four-link in the back, so right. it's... It's pretty much a state-of-the-art, you know, race car. And what is the transmission? It's a turbo 350. Okay. Uh, it's a three-speed. Has an eight-inch converter. So you have to shift it manually. It's a manually shift. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a race transmission. Right. Okay. But it's technically a street car. Te uh, yeah. 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 So you can take it out. On the <laughs> sure. Street. Yeah. Sure. Sure. What else can you tell us? Does it run on pump gas? Runs uh, on C15 race gas. Oh. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Right. So we don't have to have it smogged. Right. All oh, right. You know, yeah, it's, a, it's a 41 Willys. It's a 41 Willys. Uh, and obviously, it's it's a race car, so there's no air conditioning, no, nothing like that. No, not uh, too many creature comforts. No, no. But it, boy, it's just a beautiful, beautiful job. And your first race car is what your Camaro? You said? Yeah, it was actually my first car and my first race car, '69 oh, okay. Camaro. And what kind of time do you turn it in that? Do you remember? Well, I only raced it once because it was really slow. All right, so. <laughs> but it was like 14. All right. Well, in Palmdale. 14, 14 is okay. Yeah. <laughs> But you race some of the big stuff now, right? Yeah. What, what, what are you racing? I have a 70 Cuda and okay. Top Sportsman. Okay. What's in the Cuda motor? Uh, 706. Oh, okay. Yeah. And okay. what kind of times you turn with that? That, I think my best time is a 702. Maybe? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a step up from the 14. Boy, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, wow, that's really fast. Yeah. Okay. Is that a street car or just a pure race car? No, it's car? just a race car. Just a race car. Okay, very cool. Well, the fascinating thing about it is the reason this car has such a connection to California and hot riding is you're the president of In-N-Out Burger, where we eat all the time. That's, you know, people come here from Germany and they go, that is the In-N-Out Burger. We hear so much about the California. Because you guys don't go beyond, what, Arizona? 
Is that about as far? Texas is as far east. Oh, as Texas. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. So consequently, people back east and other countries, they hear about the In-N-Out Burger, and it really is the best burger. I, I gotta say. So, and you guys have been in the forefront of that. I know it used to be the place where all the car guys would hang out in the 50s, and the 60s, and the 70s, and uh, the iconic T-shirts you guys did. Um, if you're ever in California, you want to stop by and get one of the In-N-Out Hot Rod T-shirts because you had all the cool cars, the Shelby's. What was the first T-shirt? Do you remember? Do you know? Um, I think it was one taken from a photo yeah. from the original stand and you know really cool cars in the in the driveway and um, it's ironic because my mom and dad met through the whole T-shirt thing. My dad was going to get T-shirts made and my mom worked there. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. there you go. <laughs> so if you could get a free T-shirt, I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Plus, you guys were the first one to have the speaker that you're talking to order, isn't that correct? Yeah, the two-way speaker. Oh, there you mm -hmm. go. So, what was it, what, like 1948? Is that what it is? We started in 1948. The okay. speakers was a little later. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Because, yeah, that was on the Friday night and on the cruise night, especially in California. You know, I grew up in Massachusetts, so you're freezing to death in January and it's winter, and then you'd open a magazine and guys in T-shirts would be hanging out in an outburger with the hoods up showing the car. Ah, just... That was the place to be. That was the place to be. Well, it's a streetcar. Can we take it for a ride? Oh, yeah. But before we do that, can we, uh, let's take a look at the interior. Let's see what the inside looks like. You know, for a race car, I mean, it's beautifully appointed. This looks, I mean, most race cars, it's all about, you know, weight and everything. And you've got the full door panels, carpeting. It's beautifully done. I mean, it's really good. What do you got? We have a 150 mile an hour speedometer. Got your tack, your gauges, full roll cage, fire system. Let's fire this baby up. Were these cars pretty scary when you were young? When I was little, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was intimidated. What racetrack do you usually race at? Um, I'm, I'm all around on the uh, Pacific Division. Um, so we're going to uh, Vegas, we're going to Phoenix. Oh wow, so you do, you do it a lot, huh? Yeah, Sonoma. Um, I actually travel out and go up to Seattle and Texas. Wow. I went to North Carolina last year. Does your race car have a name? Is it like the Double Double or something? <laughs> um, the car I race, I don't have a name for it, but my racing name is Flying Dutch Fox. Oh, oh wow, yeah. cool, there you go. Yeah, my dad was the Flying Dutchman. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's a little drizzly here in California today, <laughs> so probably not uh, the best car to try to burn out in, but, <laughs> but it's actually quite streetable. Yeah. And it's not that noisy, it's not bad. No, all this uh, yeah. interior padding. <laughs> but always hot rods, right? You guys never get into classics or anything like that.
were you working in In-N-Out when you were 17? Did they know you were the boss's kid or you were just working there? Only the managers knew. Oh, okay. We kept it a secret for yeah. a good month. Then it, word got out. You were like the first undercover boss. <laughs> but I think that meets the legal definition of a spare tire. I mean, a flat tire. Let's, uh, I'm guessing we don't have a spare? No. No, beautiful trunk. <laughs> got an Optima battery, you got a massive fuel pumps. But uh, no, when this stops, you're, you're pretty much stopped for the day. So uh, how old are these tires, Lindsay? Are they pretty old? Well, they're they're not new. They're not new. No, okay, they've been out here for a while. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, at least it didn't fly off the rim or anything like that. So that was all right. So, well, listen. Thanks for bringing your car. I hate to leave you stuck here by the side of the road, but I've got to get back to work. So you're pretty much on your own. No, no. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll get a we'll get a we'll get a flatbed. We'll get it back to the uh, garage, and uh, we'll change the tire. But uh, listen. Thanks so much for all your family's done for the car culture of Southern California and the whole In-N-Out Burger thing is kind of a fun experience and the t-shirts and all you do to promote uh, hot rodding and things. It's really cool. I mean, it's a, you, you guys are a real hot rod family that go way back. So it's, it's, it's kind of cool. And it's, it's a beautiful car and it's a great homage to your dad. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's great fun. So thank you, Lindsay. Oh, thank you very, thank very you, much. Jay. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>